something different. I didn't know about this guy. All right. The public needs to know. Good evening. I'm Steve S.H. Walters reporting for Breaking News 500 here in Vero Beach, Florida. Today's topic is the Portuguese man of war. You think man of war? Was this guy carrying weapons or something? No, no, folks. He is the weapon. This guy's deadly. He's the weapon. Now, he kind of looks like a jellyfish, but he's not a jellyfish. You could say he's a distant cousin. They're kind of related. Now, there are a species of, I'm going to say it wrong, so let me give me a little slack here. I'm going to say it wrong, but there are a species of the siponophore. Siponophore. I think I said that pretty good. Anyway, these guys can be found in the Atlantic Ocean, here in Florida, and the Indian Ocean. And they're all over the ocean here in Florida. Now, we have a clip of this guy. Marvin, are you ready with a clip? You're ready. You're smiling today. Why are you so happy, Marvin? Oh, I get it. See, this guy can be found in the ocean, folks. So it don't scare Marvin, because he's not going to go in the water in the ocean. Ever since he's seen Jaws, he don't go in the ocean. He's got a swimming pool. So he does all his swimming in his pool in his backyard. So he's never going to see this guy. You're never going to come across this guy. So you're not scared. So it's just a clip, right, Marvin? I got news for you, Marvin. They're all just clips. All right, Marvin. Roll the clip. Among the jellyfish, and looks somewhat like them, is the deadly Portuguese man o' war. Long treads trail behind it, as much as 30 meters long. Each is armed with many thousands of stinging cells. A single tentacle can kill a fish, and in a rare case, it can kill a man. back. What do you think? See that clip? Very interesting clip. Did you hear what that guy said? On rare occasions, it can kill a man. That ain't good, folks. That ain't good. I ain't taking my chances in the ocean with this guy. And see, what he's talking about is they've got venom. And when they sting you, and in most cases, they're not going to be that deadly to humans, but if they sting you, it's going to be a very, very painful sting. And there's venom in it. And you're going to get welted. You're going to have all these welts. And the thing about it also, they travel in groups. Sometimes hundreds or thousands in groups. So you might not just get stung by one. You might get stung by a few of them. So you better be careful. And you want to be one of those rare occasions where you don't make it. So if I see one of these guys, I'm getting away from them. Now the interesting thing about them, they can be violet, blue, pink. They're kind of a balloon type figure. They can rise up over the water about six inches in the ocean. And the very interesting thing about them is they don't have any control of where they're going. They have no control of where they're traveling. See, the wind and the current kind of just takes them along. Wherever the wind and current takes them, that's where they go. And on occasions, they have washed up on shore. So you hear that, Marvin? So if you're suntanning on the beach, you can, maybe one of these guys will wash up. I'm just kidding with him. He don't go to the beach anyway. He's got a pool. The suntan at home. He's got a pool. Just got to kid him. You know, he's a good employee. He's a great guy. You got to have a little fun once in a while. This ain't a total serious news report. We're just giving you some basic information, giving you some good stuff, and, you know, we're having some fun. Right, Marvin? Right, Marvin. All right. Now, where was I? Oh, and this Portuguese man of war. He um, is not a predator of too many other species. And they like to eat fish, and plankton. It's a very interesting thing, this Portuguese man of war. I hope you've enjoyed this report. I hope you learned something. I hope if you're a local or a tourist here in Florida and you're out in those waters, you're aware of these guys. You see them floating above on the ocean, get away from that. Or you see, you know, it looks like a bunch of them in a group. There's a bunch of them in a group. And just kind of stay away from them and be cautious. I'm Steve S.H. Walters reporting for Breaking News 500. Now have a great day.